How you doing here? Well, I booted up the AS Rock with the Windows 7 64-bit uh, to uh, try something out, and I haven't had it on in a while. And this little uh, command line window was opened up. Uh, let's see. Deployment image. It's task ENG execute at the top. Then it says employment image. Can't get still. Deployment image servicing and management tool version 6.1.7600.16385. Deployment imaging servicing tool. I don't remember what I was doing. Okay, it's it's running the program image now the last thing I did let's see up oh, it went away well I'll get it on the video I was moving trying to get a better view might not be readable but uh, I guess I'll look back at my video but the other thing is and this is probably separate but I had to put it on a different router um, because, and actually I may, this port may be bad, and my Linksys router, it's, I had to, I, what I did was I put, took, my mom's computer wouldn't get online, it happened a couple of times, she didn't get it on it very often, but when she'd get on it, it wouldn't get online, and rebooting the router had been, helped the last time, but this time it didn't, and, uh, so I just swapped, you know, my, one of my least used machines over, put her on my new TP-Link router, everything was fine um, so now this one's not online so I don't know if that thing is that uh, Linksys it's one of those old cool uh, hackable 54 G I think it is I've always been really dependable but it uh, <coughs> maybe it's actually get, beginning to get a hardware failure I mean one port works and another one doesn't Be well because I say that because my IBM server right there runs 24/7, 365. It's uh, it's all it hasn't been given trouble. It's online. It's reachable by the internet. And that was the thing. It looked like well, there, it's just no connection whatsoever. And I had been noticing odd things for quite a while when I hadn't put it all together. My phones, whenever they would, uh, sometimes they would automatically switch. I think it's a vast battery saver doing it, but uh, have that on the phones. Uh, but it would, they would automatically switch over to that. Have it set. Well, it's the Wi. I'm sorry, it's the Wi-Fi manager, best Wi-Fi manager. It would set to connect to the strongest signal, and uh, automatically. And that TP-Link is fastest, but it's not always the strongest signal. It links to sometimes it's stronger. And you know different different things you know interfere with radio signals you know like the other routers in the area which I use an app uh, what's it called Wi-Fi something anyway you can see what the signals are in your area and then I set the channels in between the other my neighbors and all that so that they wouldn't be fighting with each other and uh, that helped uh, because when I go in the living room I'd lose my signal sometimes so. Um, if I'm sitting right in, if I'm in here in my room right here by the routers, you know, everything's mostly fine. But the Linksys, uh, I would notice sometimes that my uh, Google video uh, photos were not getting uploaded. My videos and pictures weren't getting uploaded. And I'd look in the Wi-Fi things and it'd be on the Linksys. So I thought, what in the world? <coughs> so uh, so it, two things were acting. it's acting odd about. And that's, you know, the... First it was Wi-Fi, and then uh, and I thought, well, you know, maybe some sort of interference or something. Or, uh, but if it's on the wired too, I gotta reboot that router and see if it comes back. It comes back on. Let's see if that fixes it. <coughs> see, the only easiest way to reboot that router <coughs> is to just jump up there and unplug it and plug it back in. Let me move this box out of the way. Little dude it reboots really quickly. I gotta have my right hand to do it. Oh, it's just a little tricky getting it. Yeah, just unplug it. 
There's no switch. There's no button for rebooting this one. The TP Link has a button. Okay, now. And uh, I've tested out, and you notice they're stacked on top of each other. I thought, well, they could interfere, but I've tested moving it. And it oddly enough, when I moved it, it actually seemed to get worse. With that, watching it in that app, the signal would actually seem to get weaker. I thought, weird. So they seem to be happy together in there. Uh, and I've left. I've just took a, you know, put this one somewhere else, like say over here on this other computer where my. Uh, Trendnet is my Trendnet. I've got the wireless turned off because it really craps out. It stopped working right years ago. The wireless is okay, but if you got to reboot every so often, the Netgear router, it really can't keep up. It's too old. It just can't keep up with the, the all the packets of data these days. Uh, it'll work fine though by itself. That's why it's sitting there. I was using it as a isolated. It's not even on or plugged in right now, but uh, I'd use it as an isolated. <laughs> For uh, distance, distance remote bootable uh, uh, Linux distro where you can boot uh, operating domain operating system over the over the network, have a server and then clients. Yeah, it didn't do anything. Just like with my mobs. So um, I'll try this, but that it should this shouldn't work. But I'm gonna try. Okay, so I'm gonna get my. It's hard to do this. <clears throat> I know shaking. I try not to shake as much as little as possible. But uh... okay, now which one is hers? Not the red one. I know that. Might be this black one. No, that's my server. Oh, she's not in there. She's. I'm not looking for the IBM. I'm looking for the. Oh, it says e machines. Yeah, I call it the AS Rock, but it, it really was an e-machine originally, but the motherboard went bad. Actually, I didn't. That's how I got it. Okay, so uh, I traded the labor of working on someone's computer for their junk. <laughs> or part of the labor. I did get paid. I, did, well, I built my whole new system, but <clears throat> I was trying to... <coughs> I'm already getting some dust. I hadn't even really moved anything yet. <coughs> my weather radio antennas in my face let's just move it down here I just cleaned all this stuff up the other day I don't I just got to stack things somewhere though okay let's put this down here oh crap I turned on my that button so easy to push I turned on my uh, red black bio star that's why I call it because it's red and black and has a bio star motherboard I turned it on bumped into this power button. Goofy. Okay, so I gotta have a pepper towel. The more if you don't wipe this dust off as you go, you just stir it up and breathe it. I don't know why I'm showing my every little action. It's not helping things, is it? Especially when I probably don't even get it right. Yeah, so here's the net gear. It was a good router. It just finally got to where you had to reboot it about every three days, and then it got to where you had to boot it every day to keep it working. And I got—I did a bunch of reading on it years ago, and I don't remember all the stuff I learned that well. But I um, sort of turn that light on. I think I will, so I can see my tags. Okay. Um, I've got something on pretty every port on all of them, but. Um, Anyway, you know, more and more th throughput is needed, more data, more data for everything, not just internet, you know. Uh, you know, like this uh, TP-Link's a, a gigabit router, that's a thousand megabits. These are a hundred megabits, and then, you know, whatever, the wireless, each one's a little different, but. Um, what have I got on this thing? That's something on it. What I'm thinking is, I don't even know if this will work, but one of these, I think it's this dark, uh, bright blue one here. The bright blue one there will uh, is the one coming from, that's why I've got it daisy-chained over from the Linksys. I'm almost positive that's the one. If I'm wrong, 
No, I'm right. Yeah, that one. Okay. And then these others. So I'll use me with. Oh, yeah, you can tell both. It shouldn't be labeled. This one's not as obvious. The others, are, you know, like the. It has to be. The one coming from the other router will be in the one labeled, you know, uplink or inter. It used to be called uplink. Now it's called. used to put internet on there. I mean, how the manufacturers do it, but. Uh, can't even find the. Yeah, that says WAN, Wide Area Network. That's no, that's a more another the, the more the more uh, I think that's the way they do most up nowadays. Okay, so that one goes around the corner. That one goes down there. Oh, one that one going around the corner. Yeah, I don't. It's not hooked up to anything. So that's the one. I need to just take that out of there. That's going to get broken. That's one of those with the exposed clip. It was down in there. I mean, it didn't get broken. But yeah, that's the one. So I'll take it out. That's the one I can use. And I'll just put this somewhere. I mean, if you got it, I had it hooked it there like that for quick. Uh, quick hook up to something. That didn't help. Yes, I know. I have cable everywhere. You should see it. all the stuff behind all these racks. And I don't know. I should have just set up this camera behind me on a tripod, I guess. I didn't. I wasn't. Well, I didn't plan on getting in all into all this. I've added this. Since I did that, this is a cable that will not, it's unruly, it will not stay wound up. You can stay over there for right now. Yeah, yeah see, I added things. Oh, wow, that's weird. Oh, that should be like that, because that was back in the back. Okay. So now I have a place that I can use. Nothing will stay where I put it, because of the cables. So, uh, turn that big light off now. I wanted to know what these were. Well, it doesn't really matter. I mean, actually, I know what that is. Oh, that goes to my laptop. I guess it's, well, it's wireless and wired, so for all I know, the wired's not even working anymore. I wouldn't know. I don't know where that goes. That one goes to my rack, I'm sure. Of that. that probably, oh, that goes to my rack, too, I bet you. Okay. So what I'm going to do, then, is, uh, I don't know what I was trying to show. I already forgot. Okay. Um, I want to get the... Uh, let me turn the light back on. I think that was helpful. E-Machines. That's what I wanted. Okay, that's, that's the one that's sitting here running and not connected to the internet. That is... That's it. And probably... It's... it's uh, the one I call the AS Rock because I put an AS Rock motherboard in it. And I didn't like, you know, e machines, pretty crappy computers, really, so I didn't really want to call it the e machine. <laughs> Should have It had bad cap syndrome in it. I uh, don't think I can get it over without fishing it out. That's going to be a pain. And I don't, I've learned the hard way, don't start fishing those around with those exposed clips without put up or wrap them in some, just wrap some scotch tape around them, that's the quickest thing I got. And, wait, it got me some slack, yeah, let's see what I'm pulling on down here. Yep, I'm pulling on where I've got, it. I don't like them, just, you know, I wind them up, can't see it very well. see it but I can't see it on the phone anyway you can kind of see stuff moving down there it it I'm pulling the uh, where it's wound up, up off the ground that's the only bad thing is then when you want a little more slack you don't really have it but for right now that's far enough so let's see I'm not uh, I used to be able to do things with my left hand almost as well as with my right, but I'm not as good at it as I used to be. 
I could write with my left hand pretty well for most of my life. Now I don't do it so well. Okay, let's see. I don't know if the Linksys is really working, you know. So I'm just going to reboot the, this one first, the TP Link. See, if the, see the lights. That way it'll get a new IP addresses out to everything. And let's see. But the thing is, all my Linux systems, they, they would already be uh, connecting. But with Windows, even, uh, sometimes it will, sometimes it won't. Okay, it's doing it. I think the darn thing is, my mouse is not moving. It may have more problems than I think. Well, I think when I started this video, I was showing that uh, it looked like a backup task, but it could be something bad. But it is trying to connect. See, so there's that's a bad port. But the, if the mouse is not moving, then the system must be basically about locked up. Switch. Sometimes I can switch off and back on on my KVM switch. Sometimes it's acting up. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's the one I accidentally started up. Oh, and it doesn't show up on the monitor because I have to switch the monitor to the DVI port. It's some, that's the only one on the DVI port, dresser on the VGA port. I don't know how I moved that so badly. Okay, everything's getting... Okay, number two, that would be my... <coughs> yeah, see, so I was going to try to connect to it with Team Viewer. And then I thought, oh yeah, it has a different IP address, and heck, it didn't have any. So, um, let's go back to it. What th This KVM switch, whenever it does start to act up. Oh, okay, it, it saw my network, but my mouse is not responding, so I can't answer anything. <laughs> Do I have a regular mouse plugged into that thing? PS2? Oh, it hasn't come back yet. It says USB device not recognized. That's when I switched off and back on. Why does it say not recognized? So that's why my mouse isn't working. It's having USB troubles. Now I don't think any of these mice I have over here are connected to this because I've never had any trouble. That doesn't move it. I've never had any trouble. Now this one's on my, my my other keyboard. I have another identical back up in yonder. I have another identical. Um, that's aggravating. <clears throat> Sometimes you can switch around and another keyboard like this one, HP. Uh, I have it plugged into my uh, KVM switch, and so whatever. Either one, either either one of them can be used. I, that one I I would sit around on the bed when I was watching TV. Lately, I've been using this wireless, <coughs> so that's what I was thinking. <coughs> <coughs> thinking is I would use the wireless. But let's try this one more time. I'll we'll switch off and switch back on. Get on one that uh, get on my server this time. Doesn't matter. It's getting old and it doesn't want to stick. Well, I'm going to put it somewhere. This is my server. Okay, you see everything's fine. You can see it. There, yeah. Yeah. I don't think it's got anything to do with me, my switching problems. I think it's... Okay, USB device not recognized. Why? He can't do anything. It's been acting weird like that. Um, usually it's fine after... Sometimes it'll it'll say that in work anyway. After a while. But here's what I think I'll do right at the moment. Just to see if I can get it to work. I've got a, this wireless mouse and keyboard. Let's see, let me turn them on first. Get them turned on. Now, I've been using them on my laptop because I had my 
USB connected. My USB and my VGA that I usually use on my laptop, I had it connected to the AS Rock because I was working on it and doing things. Then I got off into other things. <coughs> okay, get that on. Where's that little adapter? Get you plugged in. Ugh. <laughs> I dropped it down into the abyss of cables and stuff. Shoot. I drop everything. Alright, this is a silly bad video. I'm going to turn it off. And uh, I'll come back when I got something to report. Alright, bye. I wasn't intending to make a big long video anyway.